Okay. I had a number of questions dealing with how to handle the steering wheel. And, uh, you know, something that happens once you uh, get a bit more comfortable driving, you palm the steering wheel. And I am guilty of it sometimes, even, even you know, when I uh, do training. Sometimes I focus on what I, the particular task, the particular skill that I'm trying to, to, to teach, to cover, and I palm the steering wheel. You know, I, I concentrate on what I do and I, I do this, which is really palming the steering wheel. Well, that's really not something that we're supposed to be doing. What we're supposed to be doing is really to hold the steering wheel properly like this at 915 uh, or at 210 I don't remember which one is the official you know 210, 210 right now okay mm -hmm. it's been changed over years but basically you're supposed to hold hold on to your steering wheel uh, I would recommend when you take the road test definitely you need to hold your steering wheel firmly but uh, you see when you make turns most of the time you have a tendency to to do this. We all do. That's when we don't palm the wheel. You see, I, I, I hold the steering wheel pretty well right now, but I do like most car, car drivers do. I just, my arms are crossed right now as I make the turn. Well, there is a more, more effective way to go about it when you drive a commercial vehicle and the way you go about it is you avoid crossing your arms so what you do I'm about to make a turn you do this you handle your wheel in that way just like this again I'm about to make another turn and I avoid crossing my arms And that gives me a much better grip on the steering wheel. And also, it, it is a lot less strain on my back. So uh, at the end of the day, you are less likely to have, to experience back pain if you avoid crossing your arms as you uh, make a turn with the steering wheel.